And now we're working on this step. And basically here, there are two, there's a grill on each step. And so what it is, is it's important when there are grills, if you take a look at the grills, you basically want to put the grills in the same place on each st step and you want the grills to be the same size because your eye when it looks at the engine if the grills you know if the the louves on the grills are different or if they're going at angles your eye kind of starts to catch that kind of stuff and the problem is is that is that as nice as you make the engine, you know, if you paint it the bright orange, what ends up happening is, is that if you have these little grills going at, at, you know, skewed angles, and if all of a sudden, like, one has five louves on it, and one has three, and they're just kind of, you know, randomly placed on there, there's sort of this look, because I've said this before in other videos, what, what ends up happening is, is that the greatest thing you're trying to achieve here is that locomotives are built by humans, but a lot of the pieces of them are machinery. They're built by humans, but the pieces ultimately are made by machines that humans control. And so the thing about it is, is that what you're trying to accomplish in this all is you're trying to get that machined look in your drawing. You're trying to keep lines straight. You're trying to make everything as precise as you can. And if you're trying to keep it very precise and machined as much as you can, then there's as much of a look as possible that that a machine built it. But 